Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Well, I am in another one of my crazy moods because I have an organization project to do. And that is clean out these two cabinets right here that are full of all kinds of stuff. Now, the reason why I have to do this besides it being kind of crazy looking is that I'm tired of sticking my hands in for something like a jar of fluff and coming out with vitamins. I'm tired of sticking my hands in to get a vitamin and then coming out with cat food. You know, I need to know what is what, where, and that's what I'm going to do today. There's going to be a lot of expired stuff in here and I just want to get rid of it. I mean, it's a new year, I'm into February, and, and I've just, I've just got to do this already. So anyway, that is my project today. So what about you guys? Do you have, do you guys have projects that you have to handle like that? <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm going to get right to work. <sighs> I have a box right over here to get rid of the items that we won't be needing it anymore or that are expired. I think I'm just going to put down on this top of here, put the supplements there just to make some space in the cabinet here. So I've got, we've got some calcium chews here. So got some multivitamin chews, raspberry flavor chews, yum bees. <laughs> Okay, those are going to go over here. I know those aren't expired. Yeah, cat food here. Cat treats, right? Okay, those are going to go down here. <sighs> I'm getting overwhelmed already. Oh, my molasses. See, I, I didn't know where my molasses was. Now I know. Okay, that's going to go in the baking cabinet. See, I'm finding all kinds of goodies here, but it's just frustrating at the same time. Cholesterol tea. I remember I bought that. I don't even know why I bought that. So that's going to go in the... I'll make a space for tea right here. More tea. Tea. Yep, mint tea. See, I've got all these teas for a certain reason and I just can't remember. Vitamins, that goes in the supplements. D3, I like to keep track of where these are. Not, not expired. See, 1221, so definitely holding on to this. I want to keep this in safe, safe reach here for me. Senior vitamins. Got something here that's expired. April 2020, so that's going in the box. I'll put all the supplements down here. That's what I'll do. And then I see cocoa and stuff here. It's, you know, so I'll just put the coffee and cocoa over here and the tea. And that should create organization right there before I do anything else. Okay guys, something that expired in August of 2012. Now you know I have a problem throwing away anything that dates back to that time because those were some good, that was a good year in our life. And this is very hard to part with. <sighs> But I think I am strong enough to do it. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to do it. For this one, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to kiss the lid here. All right. I'm sorry, you got to go. I guess that's progress, right? I'm beginning to think I'm going to have a good amount of room here because I've got some stuff in the to-go pile already so you can see i got this bottom right shelf um I've, I've got that all supplements and just ready to put some more in there and maybe that'll make room in another shelf so basically it's how much can i cram in this shelf to make room on another one <laughs> This can go in my baking cabinet, so that doesn't belong in here at all. 
going to stuff all of these reusable plastic bags inside each other so that they're taking up less room. I think that's wise, right? Okay, it's still packed with these two bottom shelves, guys. That's my progress so far. You see, I got all the supplements here, and I've got all the coffee, tea, and cocoa stuff over here. I mean, that's really the best I can do for this, and just not pack it like a pack rat anymore. Now on to these second tier shelves here with the peanut butter and everything over here and on the left. You can see I already started on that side a little bit. I'll see what I can do. Mama can only do so much. Cat food. Boy, I tell you, I just about really snapped with this shelf up here because I stuck my hand back there. There was something sticky all over. Apparently someone took out something. I must have been some kind of syrup or something at one point and must have tilted it or something before they took it out and then left a mess back there and I had to get back there and clean it up. Thank God we don't have a pest problem. I, I'm telling you. Well, that is cleaned up and you know, on to the rest. I tell you, I just want to throw a bunch of stuff out right now. I don't care whose it is. I don't care. I just don't care. I'm really getting sick and tired of people not cleaning up their messes. Why does it always have to be me? All right, now I have these two second shelves uh, cleaned up and organized after I saw the mess. And, you know, it might not look that different, but I there is a method here to the madness. I got, you know, the jars of the peanut butter fluff there. I've got dried fruit right here, and I've got nuts and cereals here. I got, like, cream of wheat and oat bran. I got Brazil nuts, walnuts, pecans, stuff like that there. And um, going up to the third tier now. And actually, I've got some room right there so I can... Find some storage use for that. Okay, throwing out these old marshmallows from Lord knows when, and these old wheat crackers too. More old snacks, so that's more trash. Let's see what we've got here. Now I did handle this side right here because um, that's like just dried popcorn kernels and some plastic bags right here that are reusable. So let's see, I've got, I think this is another empty bag up here. Another old snack. Old fig bars. I'm, I'm tired of seeing stuff like this. I really am. I'm just, you know, I'm going to have to work on it more. And I'm also going to have to keep keep up, uh, keep behind everybody more. Because I'm tired of finding this stuff. You know, not eaten, stale, old, decrepit. So buried way back in the recesses of this top shelf was my box of throat coat tea without lemon. See, I can't tolerate lemon too much. So I like to get the one without lemon. And when I go to the store now, what do I find? The version with lemon. So when I was sick and I was looking for this, I couldn't find it. It was buried all the way back there. And I know I'm not the one that put it back there. You know, I'm not, I'm not the, I'm, I, never mind. All this stuff is expired and has to go Yes, some of it is dating back to years that I cherish. And you know, I have a problem with throwing out things from those years, but I don't know what else to do, guys. I already have too many things in the house. All right, folks, I do feel better a little bit because I've got these two cabinets now organized. Right here. So the bottom two are like kind of crammed full of stuff but I do know what's in there nothing is expired here these are all the supplements I'm not going to be buying any more supplements I used to have a problem with doing that just buying too much stuff thinking it would address this or address that and end up just stop taking it so I'm just going to watch for the dates on those so 
I don't have to go through another um, crazy throwaway project in another six months. Okay, so that side's done. This side is crammed full of coffee and tea and cocoa. Um, some of that tea I'm not going to drink, so I'll give that to my brother to drink because, especially during the win winter weather, he likes something hot. So um, I'll get rid of it that way. It won't, won't go to waste. This is cereals and nuts. This is stuff like peanut butter, you know, some condiments, and dried fruit over here. Top shelf is empty. Yes, yes, yes. I've got an empty shelf, but I know that's going to get crammed full of stuff because someone will fill it. <laughs> this I have the reusable, just empty Ziploc bags that uh, we, we use them, reuse them over and over again until they fall apart. So that they're just piled up over here. And I've got a couple of dried snacks like popcorn kernels up there. And just a couple of things to put in my baking cabinet. And that project is done. I'm, I'm just so happy every time I'm able to clear out something. I don't like doing the work for it, but I like when it's cleaned out. So it makes me feel a little better. Maybe I can relax now. All right, folks, can you tell me what spot in your kitchen needs the most work in terms of organization? I have plenty of other spots that can use organization. The problem I run into especially is being able to throw things out without others trying to stop me and saying that these are valuable items that we need to keep. That's the challenge in this house, but the key is to get rid of the stuff with nobody else seeing. Sometimes you have to do things like that to get a sense of order in your own house. I would appreciate hearing from you. Anything you want to say in the comments. I love you guys and thank you for watching. No, honey, it's not okay. It's expired. So what? It's completely solid. Oh, boo. How long ago did it expire? I don't know, but it's it's all bad stuff. You don't know? No, I mean, I can't remember every date it's been on there. Uh, it just expired in 2020. Honey, that's a year ago. Yeah, the eighth month. Right, you know the stuff is bad, right? Uh, you know the stuff oh, is... Oh, I ain't no such thing. All right, well... I know you'll throw the stuff out, right? I don't know, I doubt it. <laughs> what? No, oh, come on. There's poor people who wish they had that. Oh my goodness.